it took a long time to find this place, but I'm, I'm really not too far from where I was. Good morning. I started out in the mining business, so I, I spent a lot of my time out in the field, you know, working with difficult men at times. So, so now I'm working with difficult weeds and difficult chickens, and it's really not that far stretched, although they don't typically talk back. I, I think beyond, um, you know, the stress of the corporate job, I think that there, there was a self-fulfillment that was missing. Okay, good morning. I was always executing someone else's vision, someone else's strategy. Um, and, and so for the first time, you know, I'm in a position where I'm doing it all myself. You know, I, I'm not answering to someone else. If I fail, I fail. So we have a, a certified organic farm, and our primary focus here is to grow staple crops. You know, our vision was really to just be able to feed the local community with fresh, affordable produce. Do you have a question about the dill? Well, we just basically want to be able to live like we did 50 to 100 years ago where you could make it off of a small-scale farm. So I was raised on a, a functional farm. We had cattle, hogs, chickens, row crops. She wanted to give it a try, and uh, I said, well, let's do it. Tim and I agreed that, you know, we couldn't make it here on the farm just doing, like, the typical kind of conventional crops that people do. And so we decided that we had to take it to the next level um, and really look at value-added products. <laughs> Tim had said to me, we could get chickens. Of course, the next day, Tim is on a mission, and he's looking for a chicken coop. We find a chicken coop that's probably half the size, and it was $2,000. Tim all of a sudden gets the brilliant idea and now, you know, $500 later we have a school bus without seats, without engine, etc. and we're able to use it as a, as a mobile chicken coop. I was working in corporate America for the past 12 years working for a, a large international construction materials company. It was a lot, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a tough job and I think uh, Tim and I had talked a long time about kind of throwing in the towel and, and becoming farmers and we had bought this property. Um, just as a hobby, really. Um, I think, you know, when I was in San Francisco, I just kind of said to myself, something's got to change. So Tim picked me up in a truck and we pulled everything back here to the farm and, and I haven't looked back. It's the right lifestyle change, it feels right, and I'm happy and I'm content and I feel like, you know, this is it, this is what I could do for the rest of my life.